Are you getting sick of Windows ignoring your default browser and just opening Edge anyway? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make Edge never open again. This week's sponsor is me. If you'd like to support this channel, the best way is to pick up a t-shirt at cybercputech.com. All my t-shirts are extremely high quality and durable. These are the same shirts I wear in videos. So if you like the shirt I'm wearing, then head over to cybercputech.com and pick yourself up one today. What's the point in setting a browser default if you're just gonna ignore it? Have you ever noticed how when you search for something in the start menu or you click on a link in a Windows widget that it opens an edge instead of your default browser? The way Microsoft does this is by using a protocol they literally call the edge protocol. Rather than sending these things to HTTP, they send these things directly to edge regardless of what your default browser is. If you use Edge as a default browser, then this really doesn't affect you at all. But if you use Chrome, Firefox, Opera, or any number of other alternative browsers, then this can get quite annoying. In the past, we had a cool program called Edge Deflector. It would reroute all web traffic to your default browser and stop Edge from opening whenever Microsoft wanted it to. If you used Firefox, then that functionality was actually built right into the browser. Unfortunately, Microsoft killed Edge Deflector and other workarounds like it. It's almost like Microsoft has been in trouble for this kind of stuff in the past. I guess they really didn't learn their lesson, did they? However, that's okay because we have another way to do it. We're looking at a project today on GitHub called MS Edge Redirect. The way this program works is it passes the command line arguments used to open Edge to your default browser instead. This should make MS Edge Redirect harder for Microsoft to kill. Now, the program is still in beta, but it works pretty well. And it's also in active development, so hopefully this program will find ways around Microsoft's attempts at blocking it. But without talking about it all day, let's jump on a computer and see how well it works. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is see the normal functionality of Windows. And the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and open settings up. And as you can see here, I'm in my default apps and Google Chrome, and you can see Google Chrome is definitely my default browser. It's set to default all the way down the list. And by the way, a little side note right here, check out this top right here where it says make Google Chrome your default browser with one button. Nice, Microsoft. You've been listening to us, haven't you? I like that. Okay, so moving on from that, we'll go ahead and minimize this. But now here's the deal. We already know that Chrome is our default browser. So let's test this. Let's click on the start menu and let's just search for something. So we'll search for, how about default browser? That's a good idea. So from there, look at that. It opens an edge, but I thought Chrome was my default browser. What's the deal, Microsoft? So you give us halfway by giving us a default browser button, but you don't listen to it. How is that reasonable? All right, so from here, this is the part we wanna fix right now. So obviously it opens your search up in Microsoft Bing through Edge and completely ignores your default browser. So from this point, we're gonna go ahead and close Edge. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and open up our default browser. Right now, mine's Google Chrome. So open whichever browser you would like. And we're gonna to wanna to go to GitHub and navigate to MS Edge Redirect. And you know, you don't have to search for this if you don't want to, it's gonna be in the description below. Just go down there, click on the link, and then come to this page right here. And then once you get here, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to where it says releases. Now, your version might be different than the one I'm downloading here, and that's okay. Like I said, this program is in active development, so there's probably gonna be a higher version number when you go to download this than what I'm downloading right now, but it still should work about the same. So we're gonna go ahead and click on latest here and then scroll down. And there's a couple different options you have right here. You have just msedgeredirect.exe, and this is gonna be the 64-bit installer, or you have msedgeredirect x86, and this is gonna be the 32-bit installer. Now, if you're using a 32-bit version of Windows 10, then I highly recommend upgrading to a 64-bit because at this point, Microsoft isn't supporting the 32-bit versions of Windows 10 anymore. And Windows 11 doesn't even come in a 32-bit version. So keep that in mind. It's a really good idea to update as soon as possible. However, if you are using a 32-bit version of Windows, that's the installer you're gonna want.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and download the 64-bit version right here because I'm running a 64-bit version of Windows 11, obviously. So we're gonna click on that and you'll see it download down here. If you're not using Chrome, then it's gonna be different where it downloads to, but you know, you know your browser, so go to wherever the downloads are. And if you have to, you can always click here and go show in folder and you can go straight to your downloads folder if you need to. So from this point, we're gonna go ahead and click on the installer hit accept the license and hit next. And it gives you a couple of different ways that you can install this. You can either have service mode or active mode. And with service mode, it's a single user install. Like it says right here, this is only for the user account that you're currently logged into. And then also it's, it's less, invasive to the system so any viruses aren't going to flag it and things of that nature and it doesn't require admin rights so for whatever reason if you're using like a business system or something where you need admin rights in order to install a program then you're going to have to use service mode however if you want to use active mode it gives you much better performance and it's also a system-wide install so this will affect all the user accounts on the computer so that's a really good idea right there so i'm going to go ahead and check active install and then at this point it's going to ask me for administrator rights so I go ahead and hit yes and then it's going to start the whole installer over again so from this point we're going to want to hit I accept the license and hit next and then make sure it's still on active mode go ahead and hit next and at this point for right now we're going to leave this default and go ahead and push install and then on the next screen go ahead and hit finish then at that point the program should be installed on your system so let's take a look at it and see how it works all right, so just like I did before, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize some of these windows here. We're gonna click on the start button and we'll make the same search we did before. So we're gonna search for default browser. Go ahead and click right here. And look at that, it opens in Chrome exactly how it should. However, if you notice, it does open in Chrome, but we have Microsoft Bing. Seriously? So now we got it opening in the correct browser, but now it's using Bing as a search engine. You know, if you use Bing, then at this point, this is all you need to know. You can move on. But if you don't, if you'd like to override the default search engine, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so this is really easy to solve. Essentially what you do, we're gonna go ahead and close this, minimize our browser again. And at this point, we wanna open up, we wanna to go to the settings right here. And depending on whether or not you're doing this on Windows 10 or 11, it's gonna be a little bit different to find. But if you don't see it right here, you can go ahead and go to all apps and then scroll down until you see settings in the menu right here. And on Windows 10, you should be able to find it there too. So once we click settings, we're gonna go ahead and hit yes for administrator rights. So this is the same page that we had before when we were doing the install. So you can do this during the installation if you really want to. So what you can do is come down here and go right down here where it says additional redirections. And this one, you can do a lot of customizations to it. So if you wanna change Bing search, you go ahead and check this and you can choose pretty much whatever search engine you want, at least within reason. There might be a couple that are missing from here, but for the most part, most of them are here. So I'm gonna change mine to Google. You can also change the default PDF viewer if you want to, simply by checking this one too, but we're not gonna mess with that one right now. And then you can also change MSN weather to open up in a different weather program. So you can go to AccuWeather if you want. That's actually the one that I typically use or Weather Underground. Weather Underground actually works really well. So at this point, once you change the settings that you wanna change in here, go ahead and hit save. And then from that point, let's go ahead and try it again. So we're gonna type default browser. And there we go. We're opening it in Google directly. All right, you know, Microsoft's obsession with getting people to use Edge is just ridiculous. And it's the primary reason why I don't use it. To be honest with you, Edge is pretty good now that it's based on the Chromium browser, but I'm stubborn and I wanna make the choice for myself. So that's where this program comes in. Hopefully this program will have a long life and Microsoft won't be able to find a way to defeat it. But with all that said, I did a video recently where I talk about Microsoft getting busted putting ads in Windows Explorer. And in that video, I talk about the issue with Microsoft shoving edge down people's throats. And I'll go ahead and tag that video here so you can check it out if you want to. You guys have a great day.